Tren Micro ha celebrado en Madrid su encuentro en Smart Protection Forum, un evento en el que expertos y profesionales han desvelado algunas de las claves a tener en cuenta por las empresas para la protección de sus sistemas y datos. Sobre estos aspectos hemos hablado con Rick Ferguson, arquitecto de soluciones para Tren Micro EMEA, quien nos explica cuáles son los principales riesgos a los que deben hacer frente hoy en día las empresas. I think that the main, um threat for companies uh, is brand damage. People are most worried about the public um, view of their company. So um, that threat can come from many places. It can come from malware um, and it can also come from misuse of information, it can come from data leakage and it can come from social networking. Mm -hmm. Do you think that companies are uh, protecting their systems to protect the data? It's important, um, increasingly important, in fact, that we focus on protecting data rather than protecting systems. The network perimeter almost has disappeared now as people move more into uh, cloud-based storage and, and software as a service. So we need to focus really on protecting um, the data itself, whether it's in, in motion or whether it's in use or whether it's in storage. A SaaS model could affect the, in the terms in security in, in systems in the companies? Yeah, I mean, clearly if you're using software as a service, then you are handing over in many cases, certainly CRM type stuff, you're handing over almost the crown jewels of your enterprise to another company. So it's important in those kind of scenarios that, that you can put legal agreements in place and service level agreements in place around security. And those companies give you access to be able to audit their security to make sure that, that they come up to your level of security, not that you're lowering your security down to their level. The actual economic situation, the, the crisis has affected in terms of uh, the, the investments of the companies to protect their systems? I don't think we've seen a significant drop in security spending. We may have seen some large projects being postponed, being moved forward in time. Um, things like uh, moving to cloud-based models or, or virtualization or those kind of things. It's still happening, but it's not happening uh, as quickly as was previously expected before the crash. Uh, but I think companies are well aware that security is not something that they can afford to leave behind in terms of spending it. At the very least, they need to maintain their current investment. Si bien Rick Ferguson apunta que las empresas cada día se toman más en serio la seguridad de sus datos y activos de TI, este responsable también alerta de la evolución de las amenazas y cómo el cada vez mayor uso de las redes sociales como Facebook, Twitter o LinkedIn, entre otras, se está convirtiendo en un nuevo objetivo para los delincuentes informáticos. Sí, sí, los cibercriminales están absolutamente conscientes de la creciente popularidad de la red social. I mean, Facebook tiene más de 200 millones de usuarios, creo, ahora. Uh, Twitter estimates are about 50 million, the same for LinkedIn, MySpace is huge. Um, cyber criminals are aware that there's a great potential there for theft of information, for targeted attacks, and also to spread malware. I mean, just literally just yesterday, we were talking about a new variant of a very successful piece of malware called Coopface. And Coopface has normally been spreading by hijacking people's um, Facebook accounts and MySpace accounts and Bebo accounts um, and using those accounts to send messages to other people. This new variant now is fully capable of creating its own Facebook accounts, verifying them through a Gmail address, sending out friend requests to other people and operating as an individual entity that doesn't need a hijacked account anymore to operate. So there's a lot of innovation happening around social networking. There's a lot of inappropriate usage of social networking in enterprise environments leading to information leakage and it's somewhere that policymakers and C-level executives need to focus their time and effort to make sure that their employees are aware of exactly how they should be using it in a secure and safe way.